you probably have figured out by now, I have very little self-control. I've been involved with this loose ends project for so long, and I just have to take a break and do something totally creative. So I'm going to start a quilt. So I will take you with me on this journey, if you like. This is going to be my 28th quilt. Every seven quilts, I make what I call a leftover quilt. This is made up of pieces that were left over from the previous seven quilts. Uh, I cut too many pieces, right? So I save them, and then after seven quilts, I throw them together into what I call a leftover quilt. They're not easy quilts to make, believe me. Um, so I'm starting to get my house set up. It means a lot of reorganization so that I can start work. I had them stored in plastic bags. They're, some of them were neat, but some of them are going to be in need of pressing. Now, the easy ones are the quilts that were made out of pieces of a specific size. So you've got all these same size pieces. They were cut. But several of the quilts I made in this last group of seven were uh, random cuts. They weren't uh, patterns. So the, the pieces are very haphazard. I'm going to have to think of a not too difficult way of dealing with those pieces and uh, incorporating them in with the standard cut pieces. So as usual, I'm going to cover this wall with um, white flannel so that I can start playing with the pieces. First, I'm going to have to iron a lot of them because they were wadded up. I'm such a slob. They're rather haphazardly stored, and so I'm going to have to arrange them, see what I have here. I have the remnants of seven quilts, leftover pieces that were cut. 